Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of creating a custom nameplate in Tinkercad. So in the first tutorial, I showed you how to use the text tool and we created this really basic nameplate. For this portion, I'm gonna show you how you can make the letters raised off of a platform or have them engraved within a platform. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to my basic shapes menu and I'm actually gonna bring out the wedge. All right, when I drag it out, all right, I'm gonna change the size of it. So what I wanna do is I wanna make, I'm gonna make it 100 millimeters wide. All right, 20 is fine. And I'm gonna actually rotate this around. So we're looking at the angled portion. All right, there we go. So you can see we have a little 45 degree uh, bevel on this. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna have text coming off of this platform or this surface here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to text and numbers. I'm gonna click my text tool and I'm gonna type um, quick tech tutorials. Now, clearly the text is way too big to fit on this platform. So what I need to do is I need to change the size of it. So I'm gonna click on the word, I'm gonna click on one of these white boxes and I have to edit some dimensions. Now we made this 100 millimeters wide, so I'm gonna make this uh, 90, a little less. Clearly my proportions are not right, so I'm gonna click on the other measurement and I'm gonna make it uh, 10. All right, so if we zoom in, I'm gonna move this in front a little bit. All right, proportions look, look good. There we go. Now, if I want these letters to come off of the platform, I'm gonna first need to rotate them 45 degrees and then I could line them up. So I'm looking, there we go, I found this arrow here. All right, I could type in 45 and hit enter. All right, now I know that these letters are gonna be perpendicular to this surface. I can then click on it, I could elevate it a little bit, All right, and I can try and slide it over, I can try and eye it up. Now it's not 100% even, so what I could do as well is I can click and highlight on both of these and I'm gonna use my line tool. And again, I'm gonna make sure that everything is nice and centered. All right, it looks centered height-wise. That looks pretty good. And it looks centered, just checking as well. All right, what's always nice with the align tool is you can get previews uh, before you click the button to see where it looks. Or see where it lines up, I should say. Right there, I would say it looks pretty good. It looks centered to the left and right-hand side. So that's pretty good. You can see I have the letters, again, coming off of the nameplate. Now, what I would do one more time is I would highlight over both of these and I would group them together. I would go up, click group. And when it's done correctly, it should all turn to one solid color. There we go. Now, I, I group these together so that if I do want to change the size, right, it keeps everything in proportion. You can see I could tweak the width and height and so on if I really wanted to. Um, another option you could do, I'm gonna go back a couple steps. I'm gonna hit Command Z, right? You also have the little arrows up top, but Command Z is a nice little shortcut. If I wanted these letters engraved into the surface, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the, the text, go to my drop down menu, and instead of it being a solid, I'm gonna click hold. And you can see that the letters become transparent. Then what I need to do is I'm going to click over both, just like we grouped them, do the same process. I'm gonna hit group. And in about a second or two, it should update and we should see the letters in green. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color so it's a little easier to see. We're gonna make it uh, green. If I click off of it and I zoom in, now you can see that those letters it's actually cut out, which is pretty cool. So you have a couple options there. Again, it totally depends on the design you want, but these are a few different ways to create custom nameplates. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to click subscribe below and turn on notifications and also follow us on Instagram at quick underscore tech underscore tutorials to stay updated on any new tutorials we post.